If we take the My Bedroom Summaries file, we can see that we have a few more tasks than we had previously, but we still have the same two groups. So the Empty Room section and the Prep Room section. Now we need to look at moving tasks about and even deleting tasks we no longer require. Now there isn't a set requirement for your task to be in any chronological order, but if you put them in a chronological order, it will make the Gantt chart flow much more smoothly when you look at it graphically, because it will then go from top left down to bottom right. So it will be easier to read. Now that isn't a physical requirement of the software, but it just makes life easier as a human to see that top left to bottom right progress. So sometimes you need to move your tasks around. So in our empty room, is this sort of the logical order? Would we move out the old furniture? then pull up the carpet, then vacuum the cobwebs, then buy new furniture, take down the curtains, remove the curtain pull. Obviously those two are in the right order. We possibly wouldn't buy any new furniture yet, or we might buy the furniture very early because we know what we want. So let's move the buy new furniture to be pretty much the first task. So we select the task using the task ID on the left, and then click and hold, and you'll find you can actually drag, and you can see that faint horizontal line is where it will drop it. So if I take it to here and let go, then buy new furniture moves up to that location there, and its progress bar in the Gantt chart moves up. The others seem okay, move out the old furniture, which we need to do before we pull up the old carpet. Then we would vacuum the cobwebs and then take down the curtains and remove the curtain pole. Possibly we would vacuum the cobwebs after all this because they're bound to be cobwebs around the curtain pole. So let's select task five and grab and drag to there. So it's fairly easy to do. Just grab the task ID and drag it down or up to where you want it to go and let go. And it will drop in its new location. The same with the prep room. Sand the woodwork, paint the woodwork, hang the wallpaper. Fit a new curtain pole, hang new curtains, plaster the walls. Well, that really needs doing before any of this. So we take that task there and fill woodwork holes really need doing. So let's take both of those so we can select both tasks and grab and move them. So you don't need to move them one at a time. And both those tasks can drop to the beginning of prep the room. Plaster the walls, fill the woodwork holes, and then proceed to sand in the woodwork, paint in the woodwork, hang in the wallpaper fit a new curtain pole, hang new curtains. Potentially you'd want to paint anything before the curtains went in, so let's move painting the accent wall before we hang the wallpaper, and then everything is in pretty roughly the right order. So that's moving tasks, and you can move them, as we've seen, more than one at a time, and you can go upwards and downwards. You can even move tasks between groups. That's not a requirement that it stays in its own little summary section, you may, for example, not want to buy the furniture until much later in the process. So we can drag that right down here. So join the prep room section. And what we might do up here is having taken everything out. So about here, we can insert a new task. And measure the room. Much better to measure it when there's nothing in there. And then those measurements could be used to deciding what furniture to get. So measure the room. That's not going to take too long, two and a half hours, so 2.5 H. And then that's added in, in roughly the correct order. Now, if there are any tasks that you don't want, they can be deleted. We might not bother sanding the woodwork. You think, oh, we don't need to sand the woodwork itself. Fine, it wasn't done that long ago. Then we select the task row and simply press delete on the keyboard. And you'll see the task is removed. There's no are you sure there, so you need to be very careful about this. And all the task IDs are renumbered, so there's no record of that task having existed at that stage. So we simply selected the task ID to select the row, delete on the keyboard. Optionally, you could right click and delete task, and that will remove it also. But again, it's without the are you sure step, because you can undo. So if you did it accidentally, you could go oops, undo, and it would bring back that task with all its attributes and links that were in place. So moving and deleting, we can achieve so that we get our project laid out roughly the right chronological order.